I'm Rebecca DeHart with Fair Count, and I have made a plan to vote by voting by mail. So before I show you exactly how to do it, there's a couple things if your plan is to vote by mail and you haven't yet gotten your ballot that you should probably also do. If you live in Georgia, you should get to know this page. It's mvp.sos.ga.gov. So I'm gonna log in real quick. All you need to do is add your first initial and then your last name, the county that in which you live and your birthday and hit submit. What comes up is everything that you need to know about voting in the state of Georgia. Over here is where my election day uh, voting is. I get to vote at my kids' elementary school, which is right up the road at Burgess Elementary. But I would not wait until uh, election day actually to vote. If I weren't voting by mail, I would definitely be voting early. And so to find my early vote locations in DeKalb, I would be clicking on that link right there and looking at all the dates and times at all of the different locations of where I could do it. But instead, what I'm doing is voting by mail. Absentee ballot request. Georgia absentee voters, request an absentee ballot. This is all you need. Your first name, your last name, your birth date, your state or driver's license number, and the county in which you live. You hit continue. You'll get an email receipt that says that your request has been received, and then you can start tracking your ballot on the My Voter page, which is click here for absentee ballot status. So again, if you plan on voting by mail and you have not yet requested your ballot, please do so today. That way you have time for the mail to actually get that ballot to you. You have some time to fill it out and then you can take it to a drop box or if there's enough time, you could put it in the mail. But I think at this point, it'd be really great if you could turn it into one of those drop boxes that are, that are in your county as well. So on to the really exciting part, which is voting. Today, I'm really excited to open up my ballot here. This is what it looks like, by the way. You'll get this in the mail. This is your official absentee ballot. It's a, it's a big white envelope. Let me finish opening this. And there's several things inside that I'll go over and, and kind of show you what it looks like in case you've never done it before. It's super easy. So one, you'll see this envelope here, and this is what you're gonna put your ballot back in when it's time. Two, there's some instructions. I'll go over those in a second. Three, there's an extra envelope. You actually put your ballot in this envelope and then you put it in the main envelope to mail it back. And four, what I've been waiting for, my actual ballot. I love voting. I'm a little sad this is the first time that I haven't taken my kids to vote with me. Um, but, you know, it's a pandemic. So this is, the, this is the way my family has chosen to vote. And this is the plan that we made. So with the magic of computers, I'm going to take a pause right here. And I'm going to be back to you when my ballot is complete. All right, I'm back. And I voted. And it's really exciting. I love voting so much. Um, after I opened up my ballot and um, before I went and filled it out, I did go over the instructions. And let me just share a couple really important pieces with you. One, be sure to use a blue or black pen to mark your ballot and make sure your ink is dry before you put it in the envelope. You don't want it to get all smushed all over, all over the page so that it would be hard to read from a machine. And two, fill in the, the oval you know, completely cover the oval in. Don't put an X through. Don't cross off the ones that you don't want. If you make a mistake, you're going to have to ask for a new ballot. You can't cross it out and put something else in. That really will spoil your ballot. So you want to make sure that you think about it quite a bit before you make a choice and you fill in that, that little dot. If there is any issue of why you may need another ballot, if you inadvertently make an error, you spoil it, it rips, you get marks on it in other places, let your um, board of elections know and I'll show you where you can go to do that and they'll send you a new ballot and you can write spoiled on your other ballot. So I got done with my ballot. It's all filled in here. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, 
you'll notice that there's this little tab. I don't know if you can see that with red that says, please remove this stub before returning your ballot. Make sure you go ahead and do that. Take that off. And then you're going to put your ballot in this white envelope that says official absentee ballot. Ballot must be enclosed. So I'm going to go ahead and seal that. All right. So once that is sealed, then I'm going to put it in this outer um, envelope, right? This is the one that's actually pre-addressed. I'm going to make sure that it's going to my county, to Cab County. Seal this envelope. And now I'm going to sign the oath of the elector. This is important. This you want to go ahead and sign with the name that you use to register. So I'm going to go ahead and sign my name just as it is as, as I registered. You sign it right there on the oath of elector, right over where the envelope is sealed. And then you put the printed name of the elector. Now, if I was assisting someone, there's a separate oath there that shows who is helping assist that person. But because I am doing it for myself, I don't need to do anything there. So all I need is my signature and all I need is my printed name of elector. You can't remember exactly how your name appears um, as it is registered. You can go ahead and look to see who is it addressed to. So I'm going to go get this into a ballot box. I'm really excited. Um, Garrett, my husband is going to vote today too. And then we're going to take our kids and we're going to drive to one of the many ballot boxes that um, are in DeKalb County. If you don't know where your ballot box is, make sure to go ahead and visit my voter page and go on over to your county registrar and see this is where the email, uh, the website address is, decabvotes.com. Well, I went on decabvotes.com earlier today and I see this box here that says official absentee ballot drop box locations. And I looked it up and look at all of them. In some counties, they're not, there are not as many, um, but in DeKalb and Fulton and in a lot of others, there are a lot of, of secure uh, ballot drop box locations. And that is where my husband and I are going to take our kids tonight. And we are going to vote together and put the envelopes in the box to ensure that our votes count. And then over the coming days, I'm going to come back to my voter page. Again, I'll just show you where that is really quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here for absentee ballot status. And I'm going to look for the date that says when my ballot was received. And then I know that it's in the queue to be counted on election day. If there's a reason why they couldn't receive it, if something was wrong with it, et cetera, then they're going to give a status and a reason here and give you a chance to call to figure out what's going on so you can fix it. So be sure you go back and check your My Voter status to make sure that your vote by mail ballot was received and is going to be counted. Um, you can always vote. There's always a way to do it. And if you need any help, the best thing you can do is call the voter hotline number, which is the number right below here. All right, with that, I'm very excited. I'm gonna go make sure my husband gets his ballot done so that we can go drop these off and make sure that we are both seen and heard this election season. Thanks.